Hello there. Welcome to class. I'm Miss Faust. Please make sure, oh my goodness, yes, I see paper. Good job, everyone. And a pen or pencil. Guess what? We're going to have a reading today of a mother goose, yes, a mother goose nursery rhyme. A very short one. Are you excited? I know I am. So please make sure you get you perk up your ears, get those ears ready, okay, and you get ready to do some writing. Everyone got that? Um, but it's not, this nursery rhyme is really important, but it's connected, it's linked, and it's going to have something to do with a review that we're having today, namely a review of the past tense of verbs. We gotta go over those, okay? So, you know, you have the word go. What's the past tense of go? Yes, good job. It's went, isn't it? Exactly. Let's try another one. I've got it. Try. What's the past tense of try? Any guesses? Anyone? Anyone? Tried. Very good. So we're going to do a little review. And this nursery rhyme has a few verbs in there that are in the past tense. So I'd like you to make sure you're listening when I read it to you and that you write down what you're hearing, what's going on in the nursery rhyme, what's the action, what's happening, okay? And try to get the verbs. They are in past tense. So are you ready? Are you ready for a reading? Perhaps a little performance? You never know. So let me go get my sheet. Ah, here we are. It is called, hold on. Hold on. So here we are. It's a review, the past tense. Day, yes, day one. Yeah, day one. And our nursery rhyme is called Hey, diddle diddle. Did any of you ever hear of it? If you have, okay, you'll be ready for it. If you haven't, oh, here we go. So make sure you copy that down. Hey, diddle diddle. Don't forget the punctuation, the quotation marks, and the commas. Okay, everyone got that? Are we ready? We are perfect. Okay, hold on. Hold on, here we go. I'm all set for my reading. Hey, Diddle Diddle, by Mother Goose. Hey, Diddle Diddle, the cat and the fiddle. The cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed. To see such sport. And the dish ran away with the spoon. Everyone got that? So who are the actors, the characters in this nursery rhyme? You've got the cat with his little fiddle he's playing. Okay, you got a cow jumping over the moon. Okay, you got a little dog laughing and to see such sport. Does everyone understand what that means? To see such sport. It's not that we're watching a soccer game or a basketball game. No, we're seeing some fun. Cows jumping over the moon, cat playing the fiddle, sport, something fun. Sport means, in this sense, it means something fun, something funny. Okay, and then a dish. It could be a plate. Can you believe it? It runs away with a spoon. Wow. So let's do this with some characters. Okay. Hold on. Let me get ready here. Whoops. Let me get some characters. Hey, diddle diddle. The cat and the fiddle. Here's the cat playing the fiddle. Okay. It's almost like a violin type. So you're playing. So here's the cat playing the fiddle. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. The cow, I don't have a cow, but here's the moon right up here. 
jumped over the moon. Okay. The little dog laughed <laughs> to see such sport. <laughs> okay. <gasps> and the dish ran away with the spoon. It's gone. Everyone got that? All right. Did you like it? It's an interesting little nursery rhyme. So if you were familiar with it, you're going, oh, it's fun to hear it. And to see the lip characters, huh? A little action acting out. All right. So let's do this again. But I want us to focus on, hmm, hold on. Yep, I'm getting my, I'm checking my boards. Okay. Hey, diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle. The cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such sport. And the dish. Ran away with the spoon. Okay. What were the verbs that are in the past tense? When we talk about past tense, remember, it has happened. It's gone. It's history. It's not now. Your present tense is now. I am speaking now. Five minutes ago is history. I spoke. Okay. So board number one. Pointer. I'm back. Woo! Past tense verbs. We have. Whoa, 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 whoa. I want us to focus on the past tense first. These are the verbs we had. We're jumping over the moon. Remember? Jumped. And who laughed? Yes, the woof, 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 the doggy. And who ran? Yes, the dish. Remember, a dish can also be a plate. Some people, when they t refer to uh, their plates, they'll go, don't forget to put the dishes on the table. So we're not just talking like a soup bowl. It could be a plate. So we have jumped, laughed, ran. Those happened, woo, back then. It's history. It's over. It happened. It occurred. It's done. Can't change it. It's not happening now. Okay, so these are the past tense verbs used in hey diddle diddle. Now, what are the present tense versions of those verbs? What is the present tense of jumped, laughed, ran? Okay, what we're talking about right now. It's happening right now. Oh, I, uh, I erased it a little bit. Hold on, let me fix this a little bit. Fix that. Lost a little bit of the letter there. Okay. So right now, the present tense of the verbs are jumped will be jump, laughed will be laugh, ran will be run. So those are the present tense versions of the past tense. Does that make sense? I jump, I laugh, I run. I jumped, I laughed, I ran. So I jump right now. Everyone got that? I laugh. <laughs> I run. Okay, now. All right, everyone got that. Silly characters in a nursery rhyme. It happens with Mother Goose. When Mother Goose writes a nursery rhyme, it's going to be silly. Dishes running off with spoons, cows. You know, they give us milk, running, jumping over, you know, um, over the moon. Oh, wow. Dogs laughing. Cats playing a... Like a violin, the fiddle type. Okay. Okay. Everyone got that. Here comes your assignment. Again, you may want to go put a pause so that you can slowly, leisurely write down the assignment. I will leave it to you. Okay, here we go. Here we, everyone can see. All right. Here we go again. Let's do this again. So we can focus. Here's your assignment. 
I need you to copy all this down. Yes, there are nine. You're going, why can't there be ten? Because I wanted just nine. I was going to do columns of, you know, three columns. Three, three, three. Well, I guess I could have done this way. Ah, it's okay. We do nine. All right. Oh, how about now? We'll do one. We'll, we'll do a test run. Let me do my check. Drive. I drive to work every morning, she said. What's the past tense? What's the past tense, folks? What's the past tense? What's the past tense? Of brum, 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 brum. I drove to work every morning. Good job. Drove. Drive equals drove. Drive. Now. Drove. Two minutes ago. It's over. Okay. So, write these down. There are nine. Write down. Okay, you've got to copy it down. So, like, right? Copy them down and then give me. See those lines? Well, obviously, you need a little bit more room, but you got it. See the lines? That's where you give me the past tense. What's the past tense of sing? Cook, talk, give, fall, see, write, swim, fly. So, have the word sing. Give me the past. So yes, you can underline it. Please do. Make it like a little test paper. So we'll have sing, and then the past tense, underlined. Past tense, underlined, past tense, underlined, so on and so on. Does that make sense? Everyone got that? I'm modeling today. Okay, everyone got it? Everyone understand? Write these down. Make a line and over the line, you know, write whatever it is. So if it were drive, you would write drive, drove, underlined. Okay? If it were, uh, let's see, sleep, sleep, slept, underlined. Okay. All right. Good job, folks. Good job. Hey, diddle diddle. All right. Finally, oh my gosh, I keep erasing. Did it get on that? <laughs> a little blue over there, I'm sorry. Here is the question. Please do these questions. I look forward to these. So I need you to do this. This is your assignment, a review of the past tense, of, you know, of verbs, okay? But I also wanna see this answer. What is your favorite fable or fairy tale? We've done some fables, like the two brothers, for example, okay? Uh, I showed you a book, um, let's see, with Russian fairy tales and the like. that are very similar to like Sleeping Beauty. Okay, Cinderella, okay, okay. You got it? That's what we're looking at. So what is your favorite fable? What is your favorite one? Okay, or fairy tale. Maybe you don't like fables, so you don't have a favorite, but you have a favorite fa fairy tale. Share that with me. Please put quotation marks around the title, okay? Like this. Everyone understand? Quotation mark, title, quotation mark. Okay, and tell me, is it a fable or is it a fairy tale? Because I won't know. I don't know. What is Cinderella? Is that a fable or a fairy tale? I don't know. You got to you got to tell me. So in a way, you're teaching me something. How cool is that? All right, everyone got that. So I need this and that. Now to end our day, let's get our characters together. Sorry, the dish and the spoon are not coming. They're not going to be joining us. Okay, there is a um type of fable in Germany, for instance. Yes. And it has also, there's an animal at the bottom, jingling away, and animals all the way to the top, keep climbing on top. There, there would be one on top of him, and on top of that one, and up. It's really, it's really, it's a really neat fable with, about animals and the like. Okay, but no, I'm not doing that. I don't have any more blue ones. Okay. So together, we wish you a wonderful day. Don't forget, the assignment is due today. Please let me know if it's a fairy tale or a fable that you like so much. In quotation marks, please answer that question. And again, have a wonderful, wonderful day. 
Till next time. Meow. Woof. <laughs>